Welcome to Poker Professor, an online poker school designed to make you into a stronger poker player. This tutorial is intended to help make any new poker player into a winning player in only 4 minutes. We've been able to summarize the foundations and details of the No Limit Texas Hold'em Short Stack strategy into this short tutorial. We strongly recommend that you download the brief after watching the tutorial, print it, and keep it in front of you while playing, until you have memorized it and understand it fully. Beyond the fact that this system has been mathematically proven, this strategy is being implemented by many winning players on the Hold'em Felts and is critical for your success. Sitting at a table. This explanation will help you choose the correct table to sit at. First, find a table with a minimum of 8 players on it. Your buy-in amount should be 20 times the big blind. So, on a 5 to 10 cent table, your buy-in amount should be $2. When entering the game, make sure you wait for your turn to post big blinds. Seating position Your seating position on the table is crucial to your strategy when playing a hand. Your position is described in three ways, early, middle or late, depending on where you're seated compared to the player who has the dealer button. Starting hands. The key to winning with your short stack is to only play a very select few strong starting hands. After receiving your starting hand, depending on your seat position and the actions of the players in front of you, there is a certain strategy to adhere to. Looking at this table, you can see that Group A hands are very strong and will always be played. Group B hands are almost as strong and will be played almost always. Group C and D will be played according to what happens at the table, your position and the actions ahead of you. If you're holding ace-jack, which falls into this group and are sitting in a middle position, you should raise if the opponents playing in front of you haven't. How much to bet? If you are the first player to raise at the table, make sure your raise is four times the big blind. So if the big blind is 10 cents, raise to 40 cents. For each player that calls the big blind in front of you, you must add 10 cents onto your raise. For example, if your starting hand is ace-king and you're in an early position, you should raise to 40 cents. If two players in front of you called the big blind, then your raise should go to 60 cents. If your opponent raises before your turn, make sure your re-raise is five times the amount of the raise, or if you intend to make a bet that will leave you with less than five times the big blind, go all in. For example, say you're holding queens in a late position and you have seen a call and a raise in front of you. Then you should go all in. Flops and facing re-raises After the flop is revealed, always go all in assuming you raised pre-flop. If one of your opponents re-raises your hand, then you should go all in with any hand except the bottom tier. After your stack has reached 30 times the big blind, or in this example, $3, it is time for you to leave the table. I hope you enjoyed our brief guide on no limit short stacking strategy. Poker Professor. Master the game.